Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll show you how to grease the inside of a sealed bearing. And a lot of people wonder this because I get asked that question often in my shop and online. But as you're going to see, it's quite easy to grease the inside of a sealed bearing. And what I have here are two sealed bearings. For those of you who are watching today and are new to mechanics, what I mean by a sealed bearing is the rubber part or plastic that covers the ball bearings inside the bearing itself. So this bearing here is not a sealed bearing. This is probably a bearing that is used inside an engine or inside something where there is always oil to lubricate it. Whereas these two bearings here are sealed to protect them from the elements. So usually when you buy a new sealed bearing, there will be some grease in there. However, over time, the grease does sometimes disappear and thus causing your bearings to wear out prematurely. The only tools that you need today to grease the inside of your bearings is a small pick like this or an X-Acto knife like that. Most of you will not have the small pick at home so you can use this X-Acto knife but be extra cautious. I like using this pick here because there is a lot less chances of damaging the rubber that covers the ball bearings. Now to do this I'm just going to use the pick. I'm going to reach out on the edge of the cover. I'm just going to insert the pick in there a bit and then pry up. and now the whole cover will come off. So as you saw it's quite easy and I'll do it with the X-Acto knife just to show you in case you don't have that pick. So just reach on the edge of the rubber again and then pry up now when you grease the bearing you can take off both sides but I usually just take off one side and pack in the grease really tight in there and it reaches both sides of the ball bearings so it's not necessary to remove both sides. Now I'm going to remove the cover off this other bearing here. As you saw the covers do come off quite easily and this bearing here is exactly the reason why I take off the covers to grease them because as you can see there's hardly any grease left in this one. And you can use pretty well any type of grease to grease these bearings. Right here I've got some all-purpose grease. This one here is white grease. You can also use synthetic grease if you want or low temp grease especially if you're using the bearings in an area where it's very cold in the winter time. So for today I'll be using this white grease and all you want to do is pack it into the bearings. You want to push down so the grease reaches both sides of the ball bearings inside and it's amazing how much grease you can get in there. You don't want to put too much grease because it could have the potential to pop the cover off. And then I just turn the bearing like this to get the grease all inside. And this is more than enough grease. Now I'll just clean the outside of the bearing. And I'll just pack up the other bearing. This one here is a lot smaller. And I'll just wipe it clean. And I'll just grab the covers and reinstall them. And all you have to do is go around and push. And you want to make sure that the cover is installed correctly. If you see the cover protruding like this, just make sure to push it in. And you want to make sure that where the cover meets the inner race here, it's properly installed. Now I'll turn the bearing to make sure everything's fine. Wipe it clean again. And now you've got two sealed bearings that have been repacked with grease. And by doing this, it's going to extend the life of these bearings. Now when it comes to these sealed bearings here with the metal cover, I don't bother trying to grease those. I just replace them once they're worn out. That's because you can damage the cover when you try to remove it. Now another method that people use to grease sealed bearings is by using an injector needle like this that attaches to your grease gun. You would attach the injector needle like this and as you squeeze the grease gun the grease will come out of the injector needle. However to insert the grease you would have to inject the needle through the cover or on the side of the cover which can sometimes damage the cover here. 
Now I only use this method if I absolutely have to. I prefer to remove the cover and grease the inside like I just showed you. And sometimes these injector needles aren't the greatest. The needle will move in when you go to inject it or insert it into the bearing. However, I do like the injector needle for greasing ball joints that don't have a grease fitting on them. So as you saw in the video, it's quite easy to grease sealed bearings. Don't assume that you cannot grease them just because they're sealed with a rubber cover. Just follow the procedure in the video and you're going to extend the life of your bearings. So thanks for watching guys. Make sure to follow me on Facebook, Google+, Twitter and Instagram and have yourselves a great day.